All right. Good afternoon, fellow YouTubers, and welcome to uh, another video. This is Rob J from Solo Harmonics. I know it's been a while since I've done a studio live presentation, um, but today um, I got my Celtic chalice featuring Celtic knots and the dragon. Also my Celtic incense burner, my Celtic dragon there. Um, so it's the end of October. Halloween is around the corner. And I thought I'd cover a little bit of history on the origins of Halloween and so on. Um, and feature a really beautiful artist that has a really beautiful song called Creatures of a Day. And her name is Wendy Rule. But we'll get to that in just a minute. So, this is a uh, video based on Celtic folklore, or folklore music, and Halloween. Um, also referred to as All Hallows Eve. Um, is actually based on an ancient Celtic ritual or holiday. Um, it's actually called Samhain. It's spelled Samhain, but it's pronounced Samhain. It's basically an ancient Celtic holiday celebrating life and death, uh, the end of the harvest, the last harvest of the year before it gets into winter. Now, what I want to talk about is basically Celtic lore and paganism, because that's what we're dealing with here is basically paganism. Okay, so what is paganism? Well, paganism is a belief system that believes in a goddess and a god, or a god and goddess, both masculine and feminine aspect of the divine, or God, if you will. Uh, they believe in the balance in nature, okay? Uh, they believe in the chakras, like uh, the seven chakras, the same thing as Hindus believe in, pretty much. Um, the lowest chakra at the waist level or below the waist. The highest chakra is actually over the head, and that's for enlightenment, basically. Um... They also believe in the four or five elements, earth, air, fire, and water, and also the fifth element of universal spirit or divine spirit. And uh, a lot of these belief systems were practiced in ancient world as well, including ancient Rome, ancient Egypt, Greece, and so on. Um, a lot of tribal practices, the early, early Nordic tribes or pre-Viking, Viking era tribes practiced uh, pagan, uh, you know, rituals and what have you. Now, there's also the controversial Wicca, uh, or witchcraft, if you will, or the craft. Um, now, Wicca is actually a religion. It's based on the ancient Celtic religion and, and mythology. Um, like I said, the pagans believe in those things I mentioned earlier, primarily. Now, what about, where does Christianity fit in all this? Well, yeah, that's a good question. Um, pagans don't discount Christ or Christianity. What they don't agree with is how Christianity likes to force itself upon people and make you believe what they teach in the church, for example. Um, that's a controversial subject matter, I understand. But there's a couple of really good movies. Uh, one is King Arthur. Okay, the modern-day King Arthur came out in the 2000, early 2000 years. Um, I don't know the exact date. But anyway, it's, uh, it basically features, you know, Ar King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table. It also features and explains the conflict between the pagan and the Christian uh, tribal peoples and what have you. And also, it also just, uh, it, uh, displays how brutal the Saxons were as well. It's a very good movie. I highly recommend it, King Arthur. Another movie that's really good and it's more based on the fairy tales and that is Red Riding Hood. And same thing there. It's basically a movie about, obviously, the story of Red Riding Hood. Or, um, you know, everybody knows that story about the little girl in the red, you know, outfit running to Grandma's house. And Grandma turns out to be the big bad wolf. Same storyline, only it's a little darker. It's actually more involved. And it's kind of more of a Grimm's type of fairy tale. And it's a uh, it's really, really good movie. I highly recommend it. And... Um, it's basically the actors that were in the Twilight series are in that movie. But moving on. Okay, so Celtic myths and tales. That's probably a book. I just used that as a, uh, a, you know, just to give you an idea what Celtic art looks like, Celtic knots, and it's a lot of green and a lot of 
I'm, I have Celtic background in my heritage. I'm Irish. I have a lot of Irish in me. A lot of uh, Wales or Welsh in me as well. Um, got German and everything else too. Even got some Native American. That's another thing too. Native American practices, same thing. I grew up in Arizona. I was around a lot of Navajo and Hopi type of tribal uh, ceremonies. I've seen some of these. I, I, you know, went to some powwows and what have you. Very interesting. Um, I had Navajo friends. I was actually invited onto the reservation when I was real, I was about 12 years old and I got to see the Navajo reservation. I guess few white people can say that, but I one of them that's been there and done that. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> um, so the featured artist today is Wendy Rule. Now, Wendy Rule is a practicing pagan, but she's also a beautiful singer and uh, soloist and guitarist, as you can see there in a couple of pictures I have. Um, now, she had a really beautiful song called Creatures of a Day, and I'm going to play a little piece of that for you, and then I'll play you my version of it. So, uh, as we move on here, um, one last thing. If you ask me what my beliefs are, I would have to say that I'm agnostic, pretty much. I don't have a commitment to any certain belief system. I was brought up Catholic, but I consider myself agnostic for the most part. Um, the definition of agnostic is someone who's not really committed to any organized religion. Um, uh, I personally believe a lot of organized religion, you know, depending on what it is, not all of it, but a lot of it's corrupted. So I choose not to participate in particularly an organized religion. I believe what I believe, and it is what it is. <laughs> So um, I'm just going to pause it for a minute and get myself and make sure I'm set up where I need to be. Okay, so here we go with a little bit of Windy Rule. So that's a little bit of Wendy Rule for you. Um, it's a beautiful song. Um, I highly recommend any of her work. Um, she also did um, Inanna or Ishtar. I mean, if you remember my video based on Inanna Ishtar, it's the same goddess concept, uh, pre-Babylonian era, basically. But pagans believe in polytheistic belief. It means they have multiple deities, mostly demigods and goddesses, but there's also the divine god as well. So... Celtic myth and lore. All right, now I'm going to play for you my version of Creatures of a Day by Wendy Rule, and it's on the Casio CTX 3000. I got a string line and I got a rhythm pattern. It's called Ballad, and um, with some nice plucked acoustic guitar, just like she plays, and some uh, violin and solo violin as well as strings. So here we go. Let's just go ahead and play a little bit of that, shall we?
that's a little bit of my version of Creatures of a Day. I thank you for listening. This is Rob J. from Solo Harmonics. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please subscribe uh, if you like the video and hit that like button. That'd be great. Um, stay tuned for more work in the near future. All I need is time.